Um, I don't really like my bases to take away from the models. So I'm going to keep this base really subdued. Putting down a few tacky blue pieces. And these will mark the edge where I want this base piece to go. So when I take them off and pick this up and put glue on it, I can put it back down in the same spot. This is my first time trying this. Let's hope it works. It should work. In theory, I should be able to take this off and put it back down. So I'm going to put some glue on here. This is fairly flat and one dimensional. So to add some vertical detail, I'm going to use this stone on here. So it's kind of like the headstone for this tomb here. Makes it a little more interesting in a 3D perspective. The tomb's cover, I'm going to glue down after I've painted everything. Because it'll be a lot easier to do that way. This is an iron golem. Recently, I decided to give him a base that looked like it was made out of stones. I then cut the polymer clay into roughly circles and I've glued that onto the base. But I had some left over, so I decided to use the leftover clay on my base for my gargan. Sorry I didn't film this. I was working on the iron golems and I was just in the flow and I just started gluing it down onto here. And it's hanging over the edge, I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna use the rest to fill in some more of these gaps. But I'm not gonna make it perfect because I want this to look broken. I'm going to fill in the rest here with like mud and stuff like that and some grass tufts later on when I finish the model. This is the polymer clay. It's green, but it's not green stuff. It's the same material that I used for his stomach. I probably should buy green stuff soon. Next, I'm going to take some baking soda and some crazy glue. I'm going to fill in the areas where there's no brickwork on my base. Keep repeating until you've built the layer up to the correct thickness. The key thing to look for is making sure that any of sharp edges are kind of hidden beneath the dirt. That'll look like a proper base for him to stand on. I'm going to use blue poster tack. Stick this to a piece of old cardboard. And I'm going to put a base coat with a rattle can on outside. Oh no, I stepped in some gum. These are MSP Bones paints, Twilight Purple and Turf Green, kind of messily mixing them on my wet palette. I'm putting them on the base here just to get the shadow done. I'm going to go over later with kind of a watered down just green and make this greenish stone. By making a green stone, I think I can give the, I'll give the Gargan kind of a red Highlights, red pants and red, you know, bling, which will stand up nicely against a green stone base. Uh, plus, I figured if it's a greenish looking stone, it'll look kind of old and moldy. This is MSP Bone Skeleton Bone. I think it's my favorite bone color. It's really nice ivory. It also makes a very good highlight. Highlighting with just white is kind of nasty. But using this kind of bone color for highlight works really, really, really well. The purple and the green mix makes really nice shade in the cracks and on the sides and any place where you need a shade for your brickwork. Going over that with the light green really gives it a good kind of old, kind of emerald. This used to be a really nice kind of elegant place sort of look. I'm thinking to myself I'm going to come back later and come over this with a dry brush. That's a really easy way to do a green stone. Purple and green for shade, watered down green over everything else, and later on a light gray kind of highlight. I wish GW would put their paints out in these kind of bottles. This is MSP Bones again. It's muddy brown. I'm going to give this a shot for the muddy areas here on my base.
gonna put a little bit of wildwood on the shield in here. A wooden shield that this guy's buried with. That works out because it's in the brown range, so it should won't distract from the eye. Next is a color I love, but I also kind of hate. Lead. Whoa. Mm. Lead belcher. Just gonna do all the armor and the skeleton in the grave. Alrighty. Contrast skeleton horde on all the bone pieces. I think I've said this before, but this is my favorite contrast color. You know, GW does put a lot of bones on stuff. Where is that? I'm just gonna put some on the wild wood too. You know, I'm just gonna do this whole guy on this stuff. Skeleton horde, the whole thing. I put a tiny bit of the green in with the bone. I've got a makeup brush. I'm going to use that to really like dry brush on all the stonework. There you have it. Just using a bone or ivory color and a tiny dash of the original green. It makes a really nice highlight for dry brushing with. If you get a little bit of the agrax onto the green areas, don't worry. It's earth shade and the earth is going to be dusty and dust is going to go where it goes. So if you get a little extra shade on your dry brush areas, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Next, I'm gonna put some of the scenery grass onto the base to break it up a little bit and give it some more greens, natural greens. Where do I want them? Let me put some in the crack here, some back here to break up this brown. I'm gonna use some of these irregular shaped tufts to kind of hide some of these lines. I don't want them to be all the same color, size, and shape, so I'm gonna use a few various kinds. Probably these would be easier to apply with tweezers, I think. That's it. I think I'm going to stop my base right there. I'm excited to get this guy onto the table. I like the way that the Zenithal Prime and the green came out on this base so much that I used it for this abhorrent arch region. I'd stolen his stone to make this base, so he needed a new one. I also used the Zenithal Prime and green on this piece of war cry scenery. I think it came out really well. I'm excited to make some more of this. It's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, Xenithal Prime and a light wash of green, a light dusting of Ushapati bone or some other bone color really makes for a cool looking base and terrain. I think green is probably one of my favorite colors. It's really fun to work with. I should probably start painting with another color. Everything's gonna start to look the same. But right now, I'm on a green spree. So I'm gonna keep doing some more stuff like this, and this, and this. Do you have a preferred color, or do you use a wide spectrum of the palette? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them down below. I love getting them, and I always read them. That's it for this video, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, keep enjoying the hobby, and I'll see you next time. Next up, I'm gonna get this guy painted.